all right you are welcome again today let's take a look at this particular problem under limit okay please and i want you to pay attention to this question because it normally comes in different form just changing variable okay yes look at this evaluate limit as y approaches zero sine cube y minus 3y cube all over y cube minus y raised to the power of 4 okay yes this is what we are asked to evaluate now look at this very well sometimes the value or the variable may change maybe instead of y here they may decide to call it x maybe it will appear like this limit as x approaches zero sine cube x minus 3s cube all over x cube minus x raised to the power of 4 is still the same problem or is still the same question right or it they may decide to change the variable maybe from x or from y to something else like theta so look at it like this it's going to be limit as theta approaches zero sine cube theta minus 3 theta cube all over theta cube minus theta raised to the power of 4 so it's still the same all right so you see one question appearing in three different forms so any of them that comes your way we are going to see how to solve this particular problem it's very simple okay are we together yes now look at this here we have y let's work with the y we have here we have limit as y approaches zero sine cube y minus 3y cube all over y cube minus y raised to the power of 4 now look at what we are going to do is the same as let's split it into two okay let's split it into two you know the numerator is having two terms so one is going to go with the denominator and then the second one is also going to go with the denominator so that when you combine it together it will still give you the same thing look at what i'm talking about you can write it like this limit as y approaches zero sine cube y all over the denominator you know sine cube y is the first term in the numerator okay all over y cube minus y raised to the power of 4 then in the numerator we have this minus right in between sine cube y and 3y cube so here we have minus the next term in the numerator we have 3y cube all over the denominator which is y cube minus y raised to the power of 4 yes look at this it is the same you can combine it together back you know when you want to add two fractions you look for the lcm so in this case the lcm is the same okay so it's going to give you the same thing are we together yes now look at it since it's the same we are going to take the limit of two of them yes because when you go by definition of limit it say it's trying to tell you that it's still the same if you take their individual limit so taking the individual limit you are going to have limit as y approaches zero sine cube y all over y cube minus y raised to the power of four minus the limit as y approaches zero three y cube all over y cube minus y raised to the power of four yes you see it's still the same thing good now let's look at take a look at it again let's look at it again in this case now let's work on the denominator let's factor out y cube in the denominator so when you factor out y cube we are going to have limit as y approaches zero sine cube y all over y cube here we are factoring out y cube right from y cube one we is going to remain right then minus in this y raised to the power of four when you remove or factor out y cube single y is going to remain so that when you open the bracket or multiply when you see y cube multiplied by y it's going to give you y raised to the power of four right yes 
So here we have limit as y approaches 0, sine cube y, all over y cube, open bracket, 1 minus y. Then minus, the second one, the same thing. Limit as y approaches 0, 3y cube, all over y cube, open bracket, 1 minus y. Right? Yes, in this second term here, you see that we have y cube in the numerator and y cube in the denominator, the one we just factor out. So it will strike out or it will cancel. All right. So here that means we are going to have 3 all over 1 minus y remaining. Right. Good. Now look at it again. In this first time where we have limit as y approaches 0, sine cube y all over y cube over bracket 1 minus y. We are also going to split it into 2 again. Okay, so when you split it into two, look at what you are going to have. We are going to have limit as y approaches zero, sine cube y all over y cube multiplied by one all over one minus y. Hello. Yes, it's still the same thing. When you multiply a numerator, multiply by a numerator and denominator, multiply by the denominator, it's still going to give you the same thing. Then minus the second part now we have limit as y approaches zero three all over one minus y so in this first time as we just split it into two by definition of limit we can still take the limit of both of them it's still the same thing so we are going to have limit as y approaches zero or sine cube y all over y cube multiplied by limit as y approaches zero 1 all over 1 minus y, then minus limit as y approaches 0, 3 all over 1 minus y. All right, yes. Now look at it. The first one here that we have sine cube y all over y cube. You know, both of them is cube cube, but let's write this sine cube y properly. You can write it like this. That means we are going to have limit as y approaches 0, sine y all in bracket cube is still the same all over y cube then multiply by limit as y approaches 0 1 all over 1 minus y minus limit as y approaches 0 3 all over 1 minus y are we together yes now look at it in the first one we are having sine y cube all over y cube so since both of them are having cube cube so we can pick it and then square the numerator and the denominator power q. All right? Yes. Now let's put it this way. We're going to have limit as y approaches 0, sine y all over y, all a bracket cube, multiplied by limit as y approaches 0, 1 all over 1 minus y, minus limit as y approaches 0, 3 all over 1 minus y. Hello. Yes, now recall that limit as y approaches 0 sine y all over y is 1. Hello. Limit as y approaches 0 sine y all over y is what? Is 1. Look at it. We are having sine y all over y, all in bracket cube. So that means here it's going to give us what? 1. And then we are having cube. So here we have one cube. Then multiply by. In the second time here. That we have limit as y approaches 0. 1 all over 1 minus y. As y approaches 0. So in the place of y we write 0. That means going to give you 1 minus 0. Which is the same 1. So here we have 1 all over 1. Right? Good. Then minus. The second. The third part or the last part. We have limit as y approaches 0, 3 all over 1 minus y. So as y approaches 0. So in the place of y, we write 0. So here we have 3 all over 1 minus 0. So when we simplify further, when we say 1 cube, it's going to give us 1. And then the second one, we have 1 all over 1 minus 0. 1 minus 0 is 1. 1 all over 1 is 1 here we have 1 times 1 then minus the last part we have 3 all over 1 minus 0 so 1 minus 0 is 1 then 3 all over 1 is the same as 3 so here we have 1 times 1 which is 1 minus 3 
okay is going to give us minus 2 so therefore the limit as y approaches 0 sine cube y minus 3y cube all over y cube minus y raised to the power of 4 is equal to minus 2 is equal to minus 2 yes this is step by step on how to evaluate limit such as this yes thank you very much for watching please if you are new to our youtube channel do well to subscribe if you have not like and share our videos stay blessed